Hello everyone, welcome to Math with Smart Tips. Today in this video, we are solving the questions of NBHM PhD 2021. Uh, question number 5, which is from sequence. Question number 12, which is from functions and their properties. And question number 16, uh, which is from radius of convergence. That is question number question number 16. We have to find the radius of convergence. So let's start the video. And before starting the solution, I am requesting you to all those who are new in my channel, please like the video, comment if you have any doubt in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe the channel. So let's start with question number 5. The question number 5 says that given a positive real number x, uh, a sequence a x n greater equal to 1 is defined as follows a1x is equal to x and a x equal to a uh, x power, this is x power a n minus 1 x recursive relation. That is, this is the recursive relation for all n greater equal to 2. Then determine the largest value of x for which uh, limit n tends to infinity n exists. So, this question is that the limit exists and we have to find the largest value of x for which uh, this limit is exists. Now, since the given limit uh, exists, so uh, if we take suppose limit n tends to infinity a in x is equal to l. That means a in x tends to l as n tends to infinity. Then since n is a sequence uh, for all n greater equal to 1, so we can say that a n minus 1 x is also tends to x as n tends to infinity. Now, we put the value in this recursive relation. So, the recursive relation which is given a n x, this is equal to x power a n minus 1 into x. So, now this implies a l equal to x to the power l. Now, if we take uh, log both sides, so ln l, this is equal to ln x power l, this is equal to, we can write l ln x. So, this implies ln x, this is equal to 1 by l into ln l. Now, this implies x equal to exponential ln l by l now we get the value of x in terms of l in functions of l now since we know that exponential function is an increasing function increasing function so if uh, we have to find the largest possible value of x so if we find hum logo ko yahan par question mein bola hai ki x ka largest value find karna hai so since exponential function is an increasing function, so if we find the largest possible value of this, that is maximum value of ln x by ln l by l, we have to find this. So, this function is maximum, so we find the maximum value of x. Now, suppose take fl, that is function of l, this is equal to ln l by l. This is the formula that we have to find the maximum and minimum. F dash L equal to 0, we have to put F dash L. So, F dash L equal to L square uh, and L into 1 by L minus ln L into 1. So, this means 1 minus ln L by L square. Now, F dash equal to 0. F dash L, this is equal to 0. We calculate, then this gives 1 minus ln l this is equal to 0 and this gives ln l is equal to 1 which is equal to ln e so this implies we get l equal to e clearly so l equal to e now we check uh, f double dash x check whether f double dash x less than 0 at the point l equal f double dash sorry l less than you can check it otherwise you can uh, calculate directly l equal to e which is less than 0 at l equal to e so we get the value l equal to e so in this point the maximum value of x should occur that means the maximum value of x should be here x equal to this at the point l equal to e therefore maximum that is largest possible value of x this is equal to uh, the function is exponential this one exponential ln l that means ln e by e 
that means ln e means 1 e power 1 by e so this is the answer of this question e power 1 by e now go to the next question question number 12 the question number 12 says that uh, as fx varies all over continuously differentiable functions from r to r with the property that f0 equal to 10 and f1 equal to 0 find the infimum of this so hum logo ko kya karna hai ek function pakadna hai jis function continuous hoga differentiable hoga and ye do condition satisfy karega so f0 equal to 10 and f1 equal to 0 so if we consider fx this is equal to 10 minus 10x this is clearly polynomial which is continuous differentiable no problem and uh, now if we, uh, we check whether these two conditions are satisfied or not so f of 0 this is equal to clearly your 10 and f of 1 this is equal to 10 minus 10 this is equal to 0 therefore these two conditions are satisfied therefore this function satisfies all the given conditions no problem now we have to calculate this first and then infimum of this function so now f dash x this is equal to clearly minus of 10 now we calculate the given integration so uh, this integration from 0 to 1 correct this so now integration 0 to 1 uh, root under 1 minus f dash x whole square into dx this is equal to integration 0 to 1 integration root under 1 minus Sorry, I think this would be plus 1 plus 1 minute, one minute. I check this question. Yes, this should be uh, plus, correct this. Learners, this should be plus and integration 0 to 1. Now, 1, so therefore 1 plus, this should be f dash x means minus 10. So, minus 10 whole square into dx. So, this is equal to integration 0 to 1 we calculate integration 101 dx so this is equal to double 101 and integration 0 to 1 simply dx and integration 0 to 1 dx means simply 1 we all know that integration 0 to 1 into this is equal to integration 1 uh, root under 101 now we get the uh, value of this function 1 plus integral this is equal to root over of 101 and which is equal to a constant and if we find the infimum of a constant function this this is the infimum and this is the supremum since this is a constant function so our answer is clearly root under 101 since this is constant this integration value of this integration is constant so this is the maximum this is the minimum that is infimum supremum both jo puchega so answer a hi hota clear now go to the next question the next question uh, says that question number 16 consider the taylor series expansion of the function 1 plus x q in powers of x minus half uh, the function is 1 plus x q 1 by 1 plus x q this is equal to summation n greater equal to 0 n x minus half a power n what is the radius of convergence of the series so the given function is fx equal to 1 by 1 plus x cube now we have to find the radius of convergence we know that the definition of radius of convergence is it is the distance between uh, point of expansion and nearest singularity of the function now the function fx equal to this and the singularity of the function is the denominator 0 so 1 plus x cube this is equal to 0 so we can write this uh, x plus 1 into x square minus x plus 1 equal to 0 or you can take x cube equal to minus 1 also and then find the roots of this function so this gives x equal to minus 1 and x square minus x plus 1 this is equal to 0 this gives 
x equal to 1 plus minus b square minus 4 ac 1 minus 4 by 2a that is 2. So, this is clearly 1 plus minus root 3 alpha by 2 that means the roots are x equal to minus 1 1 by 2 plus root 3 iota by 2 and 1 by 2 minus root 3 iota by 2. So, these are the three points of singularity and we have to find the minimum distance from the point of expansion and point of expansion means we know that all know that x minus a power n then this a is the point of expansion. So, here the point of expansion is half. Therefore, we have to find the distance between uh, from half to this uh, point, three points respectively. So, first one is minus 1. So, uh, half minus minus 1. This is equal to half 1 plus 1 by 2. This is equal to clearly 3 by 2. Then find the distance between half and uh, this function. And this is a simple uh, point in a complex plane. So, that we have to find the distance. So, half means we can write it as in a complex plane. Uh, simply half plus iota into 0 that uh, sorry uh, and this is equal to we can take the pair half 0 and this we can take as 1 by 2 and root 3 by 2 this pair in complex plane. So, distance between these two point this is equal to modulus half minus half uh, root under of root under of this half minus half whole square modulus root under of this and plus 0 minus root 3 by 2 whole square. So, this is equal to root under 0 plus uh, root 3 by 2 whole square means 3 by 4 and which is gives root over of 3 by 2. Now, then find the distance between half and this point. So, distance between half means 1 by 2 0 in complex plane and you can write this half and minus root 3 by 2. So, half and minus root 3 by 2. So, the distance is d equal to suppose d equal to uh, root under of half minus half whole square plus 0 minus minus plus root over of 3 by 2 whole square. So, this is equal to again root over of 3 by 2. Therefore, three uh, root over of three by two, root over of three by two, and three by two, and the definition is is the nearest singularity. So the nearest singularity is clearly this distance, uh, uh, root over of three by two and root over of three by two. That is, these two points are the same distance from the point given point of expansion. So the radius of convergence is clearly root over of three by two. This is our answer of 3 by 2 that is the radius of convergence of the series is of 3 by 2 this is the answer so how was the video if the content is helpful then please give a like to this video share with your friends and subscribe the channel thank you friend see you again in the next video